Want to know how to teach your dog to do weave in agility? Well, I'm going to show you that in today's video. <laughs> It's Chloe and Ted here from Everything Dogs with Chloe. On this channel, we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy. We post weekly videos on just like this one on dog training. We also post videos on dog reviews and dog care. So if you are new here, please think about subscribing. And don't forget to check out all the links down below where I list anything that I've mentioned in this video. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you, that you're going to want to get is two weave poles and a really nice dog toy that your dog rarely sees and enjoys playing with. Then you want to line your dog up down the middle of the weaves and lead them through the weave space. When you're leading your dog through the weave space, you must remember that the dog's left shoulder needs to be on the first pole. So as you can see, Ted, as Ted starts to go through the first pole, his left, hand, left shoulder is next to the pole. So that is how you enter the weaves. I also try and stand back as much as I can so that it starts to give Ted a bit of independence and a bit of confidence doing these by himself so that when we are at an agility competition I can send him on through the weaves by himself and I can get ready for the next obstacle. You also want to make sure that when they, your dog reaches the end of the pole, as you can see from what I'm doing here, is I throw the toy to the end so that he collects the toy at the end and he doesn't come back to me for the toy. This makes sure that he is constantly looking forward and that he is rewarded straight away once he has done his sequence. The other important thing is when you're training weaves is that you do it on all four sides. Whilst you're doing these weaves as well, you also want to make sure you get 10 perfect weaves before you move on to a third pole, fourth pole and etc. You don't want to move on to adding a pole too quickly before your dog is ready. So now I'm going to start to add that third pole. Now Ted might not understand of how to go through the space when I ask him to and he might need a bit of guidance which you will see here. So I'm going to send him on and he misses the second space. So I'm going to have to guide him and show him that there is now a second space here. So I had to go with him on this one. So again, I'm going to stick on this side because obviously quite clearly at the moment he's having a couple of problems with this and I will probably try and guide him through again and no, he thought he was going to get the toy. So I'm going to guide him and call, try and call him through before he gets to the end and that's it he went through so what you want to do is you really want to slow your dog down so that they understand there is another space there so i'm going to switch sides now that he's had a good run on that side and i'm going to send him through by saying weave to him and still guiding him through so he realizes that there is a second space there so I'm going to send him through and he's gone all the way through so he gets the reward. He th worked that one out for himself there which I was really pleased about. So he's beginning to understand that there is now a second space which is really good. And he's gone straight through again. So I'm now counting up to 10 to make sure to see if he can get to 10 quite easily before we move on to the next set of weave poles. And he missed that second pole again. He does know that there is a space there. So I'm not going to guide him. I'm going to try and get him to work this out for himself. On that one, he went through the pole on the wrong side. So we actually did that on the wrong side so he had to reset himself anyway so every time your dog misses it just keep repeating keep sending them through on that same side until they get it because if they work it out themselves quick it makes them learn that trick that training a lot quicker and he did work it out with him by himself which i was so pleased about Ted is really beginning to get this and I'm really, really pleased that he we are able to count up to 10 with some perfect weaves before we move on to the fourth set of weaves. 
We will be showing this in another video so you know how to go from three to four and then four to five. We'll do it in sequences of two, but please make sure you've got three to, two to three down to a T before you do any others. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here, please think about subscribing. And also maybe share this video with someone that you think this might help. And don't forget to check out all the links down below. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, bye!